46-year-old Angela Gomez Estrup is a self-described soccer mom, wife, and registered nurse for 10 years. Now she has also fallen victim to the coronavirus. So when I woke up at 5.30, honestly, the only thing that I had was like a sore throat and it was like a, like a tickle. Um, and so I didn't think anything of it. That was this past Tuesday at the start of her 12 hour plus shift. Soon things got worse. My fever is high. I had this excruciating massive headache that just nothing will make it go away. Um, and body aches. She got tested and went home that day. A bedside nurse for cancer patients needing chemotherapy. She describes her symptoms as mild so far, including loss of taste and smell. But she believes despite her best efforts, she contracted the virus on the job. I'm the lady with the Clorox bleach wipes that wipes the whole cart down and I have hand sanitizer in my purse and in my car. So I, and we were all wearing our masks. While Angela doesn't work directly with COVID patients, many of her fellow nurses do. And she says it's been overwhelming. It's sad. Um, we, uh, I feel like we were doing really well. Um, we had COVID patients and we got down to like almost none, like one or two. And then now we're back up in the hundreds. It's not only Angela, but a 15 year old daughter that may have the virus too. In March, her parents tested positive and are now fine. Angela is self quarantining at her parents' home. One of the reasons she wanted to speak out during her recovery is the stigma she believes is attached to nurses that they should know better and take extra precautions. You're at the hospital for 13 hours and you're wearing a mask and goggles and you do your best.